The fact is, is that this this choking and 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 uh, alleged death uh, or impending death uh, was going on for 20 something minutes before anybody did anything about it. A South Florida inmate who is mentally ill is dying in a hospital. That is after a brutal attack behind bars. Tonight, serious questions into the treatment of people who are mentally ill and in jail. As we've been reporting, the mental health crisis has led to tragic outcomes in some South Florida jail systems. CBS News Miami's Joan Murray explains what happened and why a grieving family is asking why. Jannard Giffard won't live to see his 30th birthday after a brutal beating in the Broward Jail. His family has said their goodbyes. He's on life support at Broward Health Medical Center waiting to have his organs donated. This is a very troubling story in and of itself. Any anytime there's an alleged attack, that any violence in the jail, which is supposed to be a safe place. Troubling attorney and courthouse blogger Bill Jellin said because of what led up to Gaffard's deadly encounter, he was in a cell with Kevin Barnes. Barnes was deemed incompetent to face a judge on a probation violation because of mental illness. Gaffard was also found to be incompetent to face a burglary charge. According to an arrest report, he suffered a fractured rib sternum and pulmonary bruising. Surveillance captured Barnes, putting him in a chokehold. When questioned, Barnes told detectives he was bothered Giffard never cleaned himself and that his lifestyle, the fact he was gay, upset him. Uh, basically, one mentally ill person is accused of choking another one for, for quite some time and then uh, 10 minutes later or so kicking him when he's on the ground before anybody discovered or figured out what was happening. The ACLU has sued the Broward Sheriff's Office because of conditions at the jail. Recently, they've been focused on mental health. And it's not just Broward. CBS News Miami's Jim DeFeedy explored the treatment of the mentally ill in the Florida criminal justice system in his documentary, Warehoused, The Life and Death of Tristan Murphy. All the more reason, Bill Jellin said, why it's an urgent problem. Roughly 50% of the jail population identifies with some sort of mental health component, and the jails are not designed for that. Uh, there aren't the resources to do what needs to be done, but there still is a level of care that uh, needs to be provided, particularly when the jail is well aware that both of these individuals were, were the highest level of mental health consumers. Broward County's chief public defender, Gordon Weeks, issued a statement saying, in part, considering the high frequency and number of inmate deaths, serious injuries and medical neglect that have occurred in the jail is about time for an outside agency, the U.S. Department of Justice Civil Rights Division, to come in and oversee the operations of the jail. The public defender's office is no longer representing the inmate accused in this assault. It is expected that the attempted murder charges are going to be upgraded. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS News, Miami.